G'day YouTube. So, today what I've got is just a tester from uh, Banggood. Bought it with my own money. Four and a half inch or 115mm generic flap disc. Looks very similar to a name brand one which I've de-labelled. Uh, they're like $3 each or something. Dirt cheap. Got the AEG. 5 inch brushless pile of batteries. I'm going to throw this on here. We're going to try and put a sharp edge here and on the two sides of the bucket with it. Uh, I like using flap discs for this kind of heavy grinding because they're a lot quieter. But uh, let me get stuck in with this one, see how long it lasts, see if it's sharp, see if it removes material quick. And uh, I'll link them in the video description if you want to go and check them out yourself. So uh, I'll chuck this in and let's get started. charged for him. Alright, so going well so far. Not a great deal of wear on the disc yet. Pretty happy with that so far. So I've got a charged 4 amp, well, half charged now 4 amp, and 3 6 amps. So we'll go through whatever we can get done with these batteries. I'll come back, see if I can't get the job done with what we've got, and uh, finish off the video with an update at the end for you. This is the AEG brushless uh, 5 inch grinder, 18 volt obviously, good thing. Alright, so that's flat battery, number 3, 4 amp and 2 6 amps on this flap disc, let's have a look at it. So you can see it's visually, it's outer edges come down in size, partly because I nicked it on a... Um, like a sharp burr and it cut some of the flaps you know the flaps always hang over the outside so that's a five times more expensive disc that one four times i think they're about 13 bucks each 14 bucks each something like that as you can see it's hung over the side there there's still meat left on it um i trimmed the flappy bits off because i don't like them trying to exit the building this one here is also a five inch one it's not a four and a half so it's not a good representation but for three dollars forty australian so into the two dollars each kind of realm us there's nothing wrong with these um I'll show you what i got done so as the batteries were going flat i just went into deburr mode and just started taking off some chunky chippy bits they weren't super awesome on the sides of the bucket but this piece here was a lot more pronounced and it come right out to here because that bottom piece has been welded in this bucket so it come out to here i didn't like that when i'm using it i wanted that there that's the bit you can see when you're using the digger so i've started playing that off into a nice shape dug some of that weld there out to make that sharper sharpened that entire edge from 
both sides. So it's better for scraping out um, flat surfaces. Same with here. I don't think that would be normal steel. Judging by the holes in it, I'd say it'd be either a, was a grader blade and they've cut it and made it fit in here. Because it blazed a fairly serious weld there. And it looks a lot different to normal steel. Anyway, started doing a similar thing here. Put a point here so it cuts out the ground better. So I get lots of good ground that I can move really easy with this bucket. So I can actually uh, use this as the digging bucket. A bit more deburring. Bit more deburring, getting rid of all the shitty bits that hang off the sides. And yeah, that, that was three batteries, so that'd have to be more than 40 minutes of grinding. I think you get at least 20 minutes out of the um, six amps. So yeah, links in the video description for them, um, as always. And uh, yeah, a few bucks each. And they're um, they're not they're not horrible. It only just occurred to me I could have had a crack with some timber when it was new. I only bought one to test to see if they were any good, but I'll buy some more from your workshop anyway. If I think about it another day, I've got some timber there that we can do a bit of shaping on. I'll break one out. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe buttons. More video buttons. Catch you on the next vid.